Okay, so here we are today in London's Medical Hub. My name's Sean, I'm a second year PhD student um, at UCL Cancer Institute, and I'm funded by Children with Cancer UK. And what I'm trying to do is figure out why children with Down syndrome have a higher chance of getting leukemia. So over here we have UCL Cancer Institute, where a lot of cutting edge research is going on. Over on the far side, we have Macmillan Cancer Centre, where patients come from afar to get treated. And just down the road, on the right hand side, that red building is University College London Medical School. So if you'd like to come with me today, we can take you for a quick tour of the Cancer Institute and show you some of the cutting edge research that we're doing. Okay, so this is the tissue culture and we do a lot of our work in ourselves. So just to give you a quick tour, over here we have our centrifuge, which enables us to isolate cells out of a medium culture, so we can extract the cells and take them away from further analysis. Over here to your right we have our microscope, which is used on a daily basis. This enables us to check our cells every day, either before or after an experiment or early in the morning, to make sure everything is okay with our cells to continue on for the next step. And here are our incubators. This is where we store our cells at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% CO2, which keeps the cells nice and happy so we can continue with experiments on hopefully a daily basis. And so as I said, I'm trying to figure out why children with Down syndrome have a higher chance of getting leukemia. And so the model that I use to do this is called induced pluripotent stem cells, which help us mimic the early forms of embryonic development and so we can understand the mechanism that is predisposing children to developing leukemia at an early stage of life. So essentially what that means is we can use these particular cells to see what is going wrong during a baby's development that is causing them to be predisposed or having a higher chance of developing leukemia. And so here we have the cells themselves. You can probably hear a funny airflow in the background. What that is, is it's a sterile airflow that's in this hood making sure that our cells are always sterile and do not get contaminated. When the cells are contaminated, they need to be discarded and cannot be further used. So here, we can see this, what I'm highlighting with the cursor, is one particular cell. This black area is called the nucleus, and the gray area around it is the surrounding area of the cell on the side of those. So this is a whole bunch of cells here, maybe up to a thousand or so. And in one of these small plates, we can culture up to a million cells out of one of these little rods. So it's, we can get quite a large number of cells. So now you, take a minute to look around the room and see where we work on a daily basis. the tissue culture area where we do a lot of our work. Let's take a walk up to the dry lab space or our other lab spaces and feel free to take a look around as we go. So once we're done in tissue culture, we can isolate our cells and take them into our dry lab space, where we can look at genes of interest that our lab is interested in studying that predispose children to getting leukemia. Okay, so now that you've seen our tissue culture area, our dry lab, I'm now going to show you another facility that we have in here in the Cancer Institute. So come follow me. Okay, 
So this is our fax or fluorescent activated cell sorting facility. So this is quite an important machine. What it enables us to do is to take a cell sample, for example, that we are interested in, place it in the holder, and once you're ready to analyze the sample, simply hit analyze. The cell sample is taken up and cells are pushed through the machine and lasers sh shown on certain surface patterns that are present on these cells. And so what will show up is then we have an activated cell surface pattern showing up as groups of cells like so. And what we can do is we can take other groups of cells that we are interested in. So for example, a group like this one or a group like this one. And we can isolate them from the entire sample, take them back upstairs to our tissue culture or our dry lab area, and try and decipher the exact mechanism that is going wrong with these cells that is causing leukemia to occur. So I know it all looks very high tech, but I do hope it made sense. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed your brief tour of University College London Cancer Institute today. I would like to say thank you very much for your continued support with Children with Cancer UK. Without that support, we would not be able to complete the research we're doing. So, cheers. Thank you very much.